My name is Freddy Barahona. I am from Playas del Coco. I was born in 1964. My family, my father and my mother came here in 1956. And from that time on, we have been a member of this community. In my childhood, Coco was a fisherman villa. Uh, there were maybe four or five this families that live here. There was no electricity. Uh, there was no uh, water service. It was one well. I grew up living in front of the beach. When I used to get up in early in the morning, normally the people in Coco used to wake up around four o'clock in the morning. And at four o'clock in the morning, you will get your fishing line and go to the beach and wait for the fish to come. And everybody used to, the diet uh, in those years was basically just fish, dry fish, rice, and a little bit of uh, uh, vegetables like tomato or plantain. Once a week, one family, uh, last name Canales, they will kill a pig and on that weekend, the whole town will buy uh, pork and you will add to the diet pork. The next weekend, uh, another family, last name Guillen, will uh, kill a cow and the whole town will add to the diet uh, beef. But normally, every day was fish. The life of the town started at four o'clock in the morning where all the town will come to the beach and you will see everybody there and hang out and talk and wait for the fish to come. And since uh, Coco was no electricity, also around 6 p.m., everybody will hang out outside on the beach and uh, start talking about different histories and things that happen on, on the ocean on a daily basis. But at 7 p.m., everybody was asleep. There were no bars was uh, uh, only one place called Gato Chingo. And Gato Chingo will open only on Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, Saturday uh, uh, for a dance, and Sunday after the soccer uh, matches that used to be played here in town. When I first graduated and came to Coco, I had the possibility to work as a, an attorney for what is the similar in, to the Department of State. I got a job offer, but at that time, I was the first citizen of Coco that has gone out and study outside. And I wanted to come back and be the first one to establish my career and my profession in my town. So I told uh, the Department of State to give me one year because I just wanted to, to come here and settle my office for one year and then come back to San Jose and work there. Well, that's almost 30 years ago. I, I settled my office in front of, of the beach. I used to come to work with uh, flip-flops and, uh, and I provide the service there for 11 years until we moved office. And when we move office, uh, very short after was when the local government decided to demolish all the buildings that were in front of the beach. Uh, the building that I used to have, where my office used to have, was also some, a small hotel and restaurant that was owned by my, my father and my mother. And uh, sadly, is gone, but uh, it's good for the town that all these different spaces were clear and now masses of people can use it for free. Yeah.